Kelly. This is where you set your boundary. I'm an Osborne. We don't have boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> no? Those lights on? Jack! What? My, um, thingy, whatever the f it's called, is going off. No, no way! way! What the f oh. oh, my God! What the f is going on? Oh, my God. What the f Just fully move. You won't even hear each other scream. The last time I worked with Kelly doing a ghost hunt, it was kind of a warm up. I can't be in here anymore. Okay. okay. And we discovered, or confirmed rather, that she has some potential legitimate psychic abilities. But this time, it's gonna be a whole lot different because today we're going to the Queen Mary, the legendary Queen Mary. So uh, it's kind of cool. Fortunately for us, we have the whole thing to ourselves. The Queen Mary has been investigated for years and has a long, well-documented history. I have no idea what, he's, what he has planned, but if it's Jack and if it's anything like the last time, he's gonna leave me in a dark, scary room for a really long time until I get in a bad mood. Kelly is almost here. I hope she's ready for this, because I think what changed for Kelly was when she started realizing that, wait a second, something's here and something is communicating intelligently with us. Jack! Ugh. Come on, Bubba. Come on out. Jack! Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope we don't need a bigger boat. That. I'm not taking it upstairs. Hi. Hello. How was the drive? Not bad. A little bit of traffic, but it was good. Cool. It's mellow. Uh, well, welcome. Come on. Come on. You, have, you good? No. Are you, are you, do you feel emotionally supported right now by your emotional support now animals? I do. OK. So we're doing another ghost hunt. Upping the ante from the last investigation, we're going to the Queen Mary, the boat, and it's got a history well documented and has had hundreds and hundreds of paranormal sightings, witnesses, experiences. And aside from that, it's just hundreds of eyewitness accounts of seeing apparitions throughout the boat. Polly, don't do this today. It's okay. You want to get down? You can get down and look around. What do you know about the Queen Mary? It's a boat. Have you ever been to the Queen Mary? I, I have been to the Queen Mary once as a child. I, don't... I was with you. Yeah. Okay. That's a good. That's a start. That's a. That's a decent start. This is the Queen Mary, and this is about to be our home. We are going to be the very first paranormal investigators to do a televised investigation of this place with complete access. Because it's an operating hotel normally, but it's shut down right now. So we have full access of the boat. And there is no shortage of space here. Do you want some basic info on the boat? I just can't believe there's this many... Rooms? It's crazy, I never realized how big it was. It's immense. The Queen Mary, in its heyday, was like the crown jewel of, you know, transatlantic ocean liners. I mean, it kind of went all over the world. The ship is over a 1,000 feet long and is actually one third bigger than the Titanic and a hell of a lot faster. During World War II, she ferried around 800,000 troops across the Atlantic, voyaged the Atlantic a record 1,001 times from 1936 to 1967, and then was permanently docked here in Long Beach as a tourist attraction. 
So how many crew members were on board when it was a functioning ship? It was approximately 1,100 crew to run the boat when it was in its heyday, fully operational. Uh, for the last year, there's been one guy living on the boat alone. One guy? 